three tips to instantly make people feel comfortable on photos. Let's go. Good morning everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Pierre, we're in Bali today and I want to share with you three tips to always make people feel comfortable on photos. That's such a huge topic and I can, I'm can. i gonna be sharing a few experiences with you, you're gonna see it's amazing. But before that, let's find a nice place to talk because I'm telling you, this is gonna be really good. Look, whenever you're walking with people, it is super difficult in my opinion and it takes a lot of practice to get really good. Some people are natural at it. I can tell you I was not natural at it. You can ask my wife. The first shoots were hilarious. Now to be honest, I've been in front and behind the lens and depending on who is shooting you, you're gonna feel really good or really awkward on camera. So the tip number one that I apply all the time is communication. Communication is key. What I mean by that is that you have to be constantly speaking with your subject. Look, no one's natural born model. If you want to bring out the personality of people, if you really you want them to feel comfortable to be able to release those expressions, natural emotions that uh, look so so good on camera, you have to be talking to them a lot to create some kind of discussion, some kind of friendship, even just for the time of the shoot. It's very essential. Now, the way you do it is by simply being personal with the people, ask them where they're from, ask them what's their name, and always call them by their name like hey John can you sit here hey Jenny can you go there can you do that oh Jenny that looking great and always providing feedback throughout the shoot that's gonna bring me to tip number two and tip number two is getting feedback straight from the person you're shooting what I mean by that is even before you start clicking any picture please ask your subject what side of their face they prefer how they prefer to be taken because they might have a side that they really hate or one that they really prefer because you don't want to be taking any picture just to realize after that that person didn't like any of the shots simply because it was the wrong side and she doesn't like herself on that profile it happened to me once on the shoot and I can tell you I never did that mistake again after because I felt so bad of taking what I thought were really nice shots but that person didn't like them because profile was just wrong Tip number three guys is essential. It is simply keep that communication line throughout your entire shoot with a person because no one wants to be in front of a photo booth. Otherwise they would go to a photo booth. They're coming to a photographer or they're having a shoot with a photographer to have a human interaction also and get awesome shots. If you want the awesome emotions, you have to keep an awesome vibe throughout your shoot. That is critical and a lot of people don't realize it. I've been in front of cameras and the photographer never talked to us and I just didn't know what was happening, you know? He's looking at his camera, is it good, is it bad? Suddenly you're insecure, you think you're ugly, you think your clothes wrong. Oh my God, there is a bird. You don't know what's happening. So remember, always talk with the person that you're shooting. Tell them if it's good. If it's not good, just tell them it's good still and just ask them to do something different because you don't want them to feel that they did something wrong either. So always keep that communication. That is the golden rule, guys. That is the golden rule. And a last bonus tip, if you have to check your settings and your camera, just let that person know, hey, I'm checking the light in my settings, please. Just hold on one second, clack, clack. You take your shot, you check, it's good. And boom, everyone's gone back to shooting. Look, another bonus tip is what I explained during the street photography video. If whenever you're taking photos of people, Remember, do not let your eye off the camera until you're totally done. What I mean by that is that usually you get raw emotional interaction after the people are done posing. So for example, you ask them to pose, they're gonna feel uncomfortable just like every freaking one else on this planet. But then suddenly they're gonna release when they think you are done. But that's the moment you wanna get the shot actually. You, most of the time, I don't know if I got it right this time, but it's something I like to think about because that's how uh, even with my normal clients back in Paris, I used to get the best shots with the best emotions in them. This is a great tip. So you should, you're posing someone, that person is like kind of uncomfortable. Um, so they're kind of stiff on the picture, but the moment you, they think you're done, so you can say, oh, okay, I'm done. That person's gonna release their emotions. That's when you wanna click that picture. Super important. You saw it in the street photography tutorial. It made a huge difference. I did not stage that. That was absolutely natural. Look guys, you could be the best photographer, technically speaking, on planet Earth, but if you are not able to communicate with people when you try to shoot them, in my opinion, it, it, doesn't, it just doesn't work as well. You don't get this, the good expression and also the people that you're shooting don't have a good time. It leaves like a bitter sour experience of awkwardness 
and I don't think any of you wants that so always remember those few tips if you personally have more tips or have difficulties with anything let me know in the comments below I'm super curious and if you're new to this channel make sure to alright and if you're new to this channel make sure you subscribe guys because I'm traveling all around the world with my wife and I'm taking that awesome opportunity in life to actually create tutorials from different places today we're in Bali next tutorial is gonna be in Manila in the Philippines so I can't wait to share that with you and if you like that video leave it a big thumbs up make sure you share it with your friends who are struggling shooting people like I did in the past and I will see you in the next episode see you bye